Hey guys, welcome to another class with me, Sean Helene, and today we're going to be doing Fix Your Damn Lower Back Part 2, a follow-up to an earlier class that I did, and we'll be doing a different series of movements to stretch out the back, the outer hips, in a different way than we did in the first video, but hopefully just as helpful. So all you'll need today is a strap and a block. It doesn't have to be a yoga strap or a yoga block. It can be a belt or just anything kind of like a block. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So you're gonna start on your back with your belt. And then you'll take your left leg up and slide the strap around your left foot and extend your left leg straight up to the sky. So we're gonna be doing something that we call a self-adjustment over and over again today. And if you're not used to self-adjusting in your yoga practice, at first it can be a little bit strange and confusing. You kind of have to figure out the amount of pressure. Um, this self-adjustment that we're gonna be doing today is you have to use quite an amount of force for it to actually work. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Keep your left leg exactly where it is, but take both ends of the strap into your right hand. Okay, so you're not gonna move your left leg. Now, you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna put the very base of your palm onto your outer left butt cheek. So not like this, sometimes we do this hand variation, but you're gonna use your palm. Then, strongly, you're going to push your left outer hip down away from your armpit and towards your right foot and then you're going to roll the outer flesh of your left hip down away from your armpit so it's kind of a little bit of a push and then a little bit of a roll down then at the same time push up into the strap with your foot and squeeze your left quads strongly and then slowly release take the strap around your right foot Stretch your right leg up to the sky, left leg down onto the floor. And then again, you're gonna take both ends of the strap into your left hand. I kind of make, I don't know what to call this hand, but you kind of like think about this because I want you to curl the fingers in so that you're really focused on the palm doing the work for this adjustment. Then you put your right palm at the very top and slight outer edge of your right hip, then first, Push it down strongly. It's a lot of work with the arm. And then roll the outer hip down. Then in this position, when you do that successfully, you'll probably feel a little bit of a deeper stretch in your outer hamstring and your outer hip. Then as you root the hip down and around, press up into the strap more and squeeze the right thigh a bit harder. All right, and then go ahead and release. Move your strap off to the side. And let's stay on our backs and try that again in a different pose. So now I want you to just hug your left knee into your chest and stretch your right leg on the floor. So just a basic knee to chest pose. Then scoot your butt a few inches over to your left and take your left knee over to the right for a twist. All right, so here we go again. I'm gonna use my right hand now to the top outer edge of my left hip. Stretch your left arm overhead. Then as you exhale, push your left outer hip down. Try to actually get your whole left butt cheek, left hip to root down towards your right foot while you stretch the left arm further back. So now this time when you successfully lower your outer hip down, you should begin to feel a greater extension across the left side of your lower back. Then come back to center, hug your right knee into your chest, just hold it here for a moment. And then exhale, take your right knee to the left and scoot your butt a few inches over. So really what we're trying to do here is, I'm sure you've all been in class in a pose like this, and teacher comes over and they grab your hip and they root it down, you're like, oh, fuck, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to help you find some of that movement without the use of a teacher, because guess what? You're not gonna be feeling a teacher's hands on you for a long time in the middle of a pandemic. So right arm goes up and overhead. Take your left palm to the top of your right outer hip and thigh, kind of the juncture, and then you're going to roll it down. 
press it down. At the same time, stretch the right arm back behind you. Breathe. All right, and then come back to center. One more time on each side of that pose. Hug your left knee in, stretch your right leg down. Shift your hips to the left. Take your knee to the right. Put your right palm onto the top of the thigh. Root the thigh down. Stretch your left arm up. Look gently to your left. Breathe. This time, squeeze your right leg a little bit and push your right foot out into an imaginary wall. Inhale, come back to center. Move your butt over to the right. This time, the right knee hugs in and crosses over to the left. Take your right arm overhead, left palm to the thigh. This time, if you want to try, just manually rooting your right hip down. Instead of using your hand, ideally you learn how to do this without the use of your hand or a teacher. Try to roll, pack the right hip down away from your armpit. You can use your hand or not. Stretch your right arm back up and turn your head to the right. And again, imagine your left foot was pushing into a wall. Squeeze your bottom leg. Then come back to center, hug both knees into your chest, and begin to rock up and down your spine. Whee! Then come forward, cross your ankles, and please make your way to a downward dog. All right, separate your feet as wide as your sticky mat. Bring a little bend to your knees. Reach your hips back. Reach your chest back, and then re-stretch your legs. And then do that again. Bend your knees, chest back, hips back, and re-extend your legs. Inhale, take your feet back to about hips distance apart. Come forward to a plank position. And then as you exhale, reaching from your hips, go back down your facing dog. Again, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, forward to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk slowly to the back of your mat to a standing forward fold. Place your hands up onto your hips and slowly stand up. All right, I'm gonna face you for this. So from here, keep your feet about hips distance apart. Bring a little bend to your knees, not quite chair pose. Step your right leg behind to the outside of your left foot. Don't put your right heel flat. So keep your right heel lifted, left foot is flat. Then I want you to bend your knees and you're gonna put your right knee into the back of your left calf. Place your hands onto your front thigh and then reach your hips back and down. You should be feeling a little bit of tension in the back of your front calf. That's kind of the idea, as well as your legs working really strongly. Now, inhale, stretch your right arm up really, really high. And then as you exhale, come into a twist. Hook your right elbow outside of your thigh. Stack your palms together. Now, as you exhale, I want you to pull and tack your left hip back away from your armpit, like we were doing on the floor. Then push your right elbow down into your thigh and twist your upper back deeper towards the sky. Keep pulling your left hip back, back, back. Then inhale, stand up gracefully. And switch sides. Step your left foot behind to the outside of the right foot. Bend your knees. Then put your left knee to the back of your right calf. Hands to your front thigh. Reach your hips back and down. Very nice. Well, maybe. Let's hope you're doing very nicely. Then take your left arm up and then exhale, twist. All right, this time let's do this self-adjustment. Put your right palm, it's a little harder to do this side because you're compressed. Try to get your right palm to the outer right hip like you were doing on our back. Now I want you to push and tack your right hip back. Roll it back, back, back. Then stack your palms, keep it rolling back, and press your bottom elbow down into your thigh and try to twist your chest to the sky. Inhale, slowly come on up, back to mountain pose, and come to the front of your mat. All right, 
Inhale, both arms up to the sky, stretch. Exhale, fold to the ground, standing forward bend. Inhale, lengthen your chest halfway forward. Exhale, step your right leg to the back of your mat. Lower your right knee to the floor. Inhale, take your arms up. Hook your thumbs together for a nice low lunge on Janasana. Exhale and release your hands to the floor. Step back, downward dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows and lower. Inhale to cobra. Take your shoulders back. Exhale, reach back, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up into the sky behind you. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Pause here. Raise your knee up, and then take your right knee towards the left. Woo! Keep the knee and hip lifting. Inhale, stretch your right leg up and back. And then step your right foot forward. Lower your left knee. Inhale, arms up to the sky again. Hook your thumbs together and reach. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step to the top of your mat. Come to a standing forward bend. Inhale, stand all the way up. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your side. All right, second side. Here we go. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold to the floor. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, left leg back this time. Left knee down. Inhale. Arms up, thumbs up, stretch. Exhale, hands down, step back, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale to the ground. Inhale, rise up to your back bend. Move with the breath. Exhale, reach back, down the dog. Inhale, take your left leg into the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, raise the knee. Try not to let it drop at all and take your knee towards the right arm. Inhale, left leg back. And then left foot all the way through. Right knee down, final time. Arms up, hook your thumbs and stretch. Exhale, hands down, step to the front of your mat. Come to a standing forward bend. Inhale. Bend your knees this time. Chair pose. I think maybe our only chair pose today. Stretch. Then rise up. Hook your thumbs. Little lift of your chest. And then release your hands down by your sides. Tadasana. Alright. Now, I'd like you to grab your block. Then from here, we did something like this in a video not too long ago. I'd like you to come into a lunge with your left foot forward and your right foot back. Take your block and move it to the highest setting, okay? Then move the block to the right till it comes just off of your mat, okay? Now, first, take your left palm, just like we've been doing, again, curl the fingertips in, put your left palm to the top of the thigh, outer hip, then this time I want you to first push the thigh and hip down and then back slightly. Now when you do this, your front knee might toggle to the side a little. If that happens, don't let it. Keep your knee pointing straight forward. Also, oopsie, also your back thigh will try to drop when you do this. Lift your back thigh up. Then turn your chest up. And instead of taking your arm to the sky, Take your left arm straight back and roll your left shoulder back. So big external rotation of your left shoulder. Left thigh and hip down, right thigh resists up and twist. And then release, switch sides, right leg forward, left leg back. Again, take your block to the highest setting. Move your block to the left. Place your right palm to the top of the thigh. Again, using the palm, not the fingers today. First, push the thigh down and then roll it out slightly. So you're trying to get the outer flesh of the hip to roll down and the inner thigh to roll up, if that helps to make more sense for you. Keep the right knee pointing straight forward and your left thigh pulling up. Then can you keep all this? 
Keep pressing the right hip down. Turn. Take your right arm back and roll your right shoulder back. Keep dropping the right outer hip and thigh down. Lift your back thigh up and twist. And release. Switch sides again. Left leg forward and right leg back. All right. Place the block, again, high as setting, off to the right. Make sure that unlike if you just did the last video on sticking stuck parts, if you did something like this where I wanted you to move your hips to the side, keep your hips centered when you move the block over. You'll kind of want to slosh over to the right, but keep them centered. Now this time, press your outer left hip down, turn up, but then slowly straighten both legs. Now, as you keep pressing and rolling your outer left hip down, now, instead of taking your arm back, stretch your arm past your ear. Outer left hip tacks back and down, reach. Now, we're gonna pulse a little bit in and out of these two poses. Inhale here. Now, as you exhale, bend your left knee and reach your left arm back and twist. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Keep your left hip tacking down and in, and reach your arm past your ear. Inhale, bend. Whoa. Keep your back thigh charged and straight. And then exhale, straighten both legs. Now stay here, left hip tacks. Stretch the left arm, and then notice that your hips fall to the right, move them to the left a little, but keep rolling your left hip down. Rebend your left knee and switch sides. This is so fun, I think. Okay, here we go. Now, left hand to the block, right palm to the outer hip, roll it down and in. And again, this time straighten both legs. So it's kind of like a long pyramid pose. Then stretch your arm up and past your ear. Can you keep rolling your outer right hip down towards the floor as you reach, but don't let your hips fall to the left. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend your right knee. Take your right arm back. Roll your top shoulder back. Keep your left inner thigh squeezing and lifting to the sky. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. And then stay here, keep the right hip tacking, move your hips slightly to the right, and reach up to the top arm. Rebend your right knee, and go back this time, downward facing dog pose. All right, from downward dog, inhale, come to a plank pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Oh. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Now, from downward facing dog, stretch your right leg into the sky. Exhale, bring your right leg forward to a lunge. Lower your left knee to the floor. And then wiggle your right foot forward about two feet. Straighten your right leg for half split. Now, take your block again. You guessed it. Put your block at the middle setting. If hamstrings are really difficult for you, you might want to go back to the high setting. Take your block over to the left. Take your right hand onto your hip. Okay. Keep your right foot working, your right quads engaged. Actually, this time, instead of using the self-adjustment with your right palm, just take your right arm up to the sky. And see if without using your right hand, you can get your right hip to drop down towards the floor and away from your right armpit. Keep squeezing your right quad. A lot of the times, especially in this position, when we drop the right hip down, many of us will lock out the front knee. So make sure you didn't lock out the front knee. Then maintaining the drop of your right hip, stretch your arm past your ear. Okay. Keep the right leg squeezing, breathe. Then slowly rebend your right knee. Downward dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, come on up to your back, bend shoulders back. Exhale, downward dog. Okay, left leg forward this time, right knee down. Oh, I'm schwitzing. Should have opened the window before I started. Okay, left leg straight, half split or almost straight. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight here. Then, again, move the block off to the right. I'm gonna take the block to the middle setting for this one. Again, if at home your hamstrings are tight, go to the high setting. Okay. Now this time watch, so without the use of my hand, I'm going to just take my left hip and try to drop it down away from the armpit as I squeeze the left leg, but I resist locking the knee. Knee stays unlocked. Then arm up, and as you stretch your arm past your ear, keep tacking left hip, keep squeezing left leg, and stretch up through the left fingernails. Extend up fully. And then slowly come on out. And back to a downward facing dog. From downward dog, inhale forward to a plank. Exhale and lower. This time, reach back, interlace your fingers. Oh, sorry. And lift up. Locus pose. Might be time for a shoulder class soon. And then release, come on up, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, tuck your toes, stretch back, down your facing dog pose. All right. From downward facing dog, walk to the back of your mat, standing forward bent, and then slowly come all the way up. All right. Now from here, again, I'm going to turn to face you. It'll be a little bit easier to follow. We're going to go back to a pose variation we did towards the beginning. Bring a little tiny bend to your knees. And then step your right knee behind and put your right knee into the back of your calf. Take your hips nice and low. And then this time, it's a little bit weird, take your right arm round your back. And I want you to see if you can reach back with your right hand and grab your right ankle or your foot or something. Then tack your left hip back. It's hard to do. Take your left arm up to the sky. If your right hand isn't able to grab any part of your right leg, just bring your palms together like we did in the first variation. Then inhale, stand up gracefully like a swan. And switch sides. Left knee behind. Sit deeply. The deeper you sit, the closer you are to your back foot, the easier it is to grab. Ah! Inhale here and then exhale round your back, reach back, grab your ankle if you can. Again, if you can't, just palms together. Now, before you take your right arm up, try to turn and roll your shoulder back. Then top arm up to the sky. Inhale, slowly come on up. Back to mountain pose. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale and fold to the ground. Step into a plank pose. Inhale in your plank. Exhale and lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, now from downward dog, come all the way down and then just lie down onto your right hand side. Bring your bottom elbow, your right elbow, just a smidgen in front of your shoulder. Then line up your shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles all in one line. Then step your left foot on the floor in front. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up. Lift your top arm up. Okay. Keep your hips as high up as humanly possible. And stay here or to intensify, stack your feet forearm plank, or whatever this is, side forearm plank, and then slowly lower and switch sides. All right, left elbow a little bit in front of your shoulder, line up your body, right foot steps in top, right hand to your hip, or 
to help you lift up, you can use your right hand to push up off the floor. Top arm up to the sky, breathe. If you did on the first side, stack your feet, hips up, breathe. And release, again, to the other side. All right, right elbow in front of the shoulder. This time, either use your foot to come up or just come straight up. Stretch your arm past your ear, extend. Slowly lower. I'm having too much fun doing that. I almost smacked my head on the table behind me though, so that wouldn't have been good. Okay, final time. Left elbow down, spitzing full in effect. And then as you exhale, top arm up and sweep. Hips up. Exhale, lower. Okay, back to one more down dog for now. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Bend your knees a little bit. Reach your hips up and back. Re-straighten your legs. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. And slowly stand up. All right, again, hmm, actually let's think about this for a second. Yeah, let's do this. Come to the front of your mat. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Step your right leg to the back of your mat. Bring your hands up to your front thigh. Now from here, stretch your right arm up. Exhale, hook your armpit outside of your knee. Now, if you can't hook your armpit, that's totally fine. You're gonna end up here with your palms together and your chest turned up. If you can, hook your right fingertips to the floor, or if they're almost on the floor, you can put your hand on the block. Put your left palm to the top of your left hip. You saw this coming, root the left outer hip down, but squeeze your inner right thigh up. Take your top arm to the sky. Now this is really intense, so you might stay here, or you can slowly start to straighten your left leg for the most insane twisted triangle pose ever. Then re-bend your left knee if you did so. Hands to the floor, and switch sides. Right leg forward, left leg back. Hands to your front thigh. Come on up, seats. Left arm up. Exhale, try to hook your arm to the outside of your knee. And then left fingertips down. Right palm to the right hip. Roll the right hip down. If your hands are in a prayer position, you can manually roll the right hip, or you can just roll the right hip down without your palm. Then top arm up. Stay here, or slowly, whoa, the longest, most awkward perfect to triangle pose ever. Then re-bend your right knee, downward dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale and lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. All right. From here, walk to the center of your mat and slowly stand. More Spitzen. So let's try one more thing. Now, um, make sure that you have space on the right and the left hand sides of your mat. I'm gonna face towards you. It'll make things a little bit easier to follow along. Let's go back to this pose where you step your right knee behind your left knee and have a nice seat. Then stretch your right arm up and get nice and deep into your twist. Some of you will choose to just do this one more time with your palms tech. Others of you, you're gonna reach your arms out and then just kind of fall to the floor and pause. Keep your left knee on your right arm, but lift your butt up a little bit. So it's the same 
tacking of your left hip back that we did before. Keep your knee and arm touching, but scoot your right foot over a little bit to the right. Keep your knees firmly crossed. Now bend your elbows, bring your head forward and down, but keep lifting your hip up, 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 and maybe your feet come up. And then come on out. Slowly release and stand up. So that's a variation kind of halfway between side pro, halfway between um, kundinyasana, it's one or two, whatever the twisted one is. It's a nice intermediate step between the two, although some people actually find this more accessible than twisted crow, depending on proportions and where the activations are most difficult for you. Okay, so now right knee behind your left calf, stretch your left arm up, Nope. Right knee is in front, left arm up, exhale, twist. Okay. Now, all you have to do, keep the knee and the arm touching, just kind of kersplunk to the side, pause, don't panic. Lift your hip up a little bit and tack it back in the same way we've been doing. Move your bottom foot, in this case your left foot over a little bit, now, when you bend your elbows, you have to bring your head way forward and keep pulling your hip up, 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 until maybe the feet begin to come up and come on out. Now, just go into a standing forward bend. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Bring a little bend to your knees and stretch the arms back. Release your hands down. And one more time, back to a downward dog. Lower your knees down. Take a couple of wrist circles, circling your wrists. Ooh, those arm balances are tough on, on a rug. Possible, I should have said this at the beginning at home, if you're doing this on carpeted area, try to do it on a, a, a solid surface. All right, now, Go ahead and come onto your back. Bend your knees, place your feet. Oh yeah, floor feels nice. Bend your elbows, row about arms, and then lift your hips up, press your elbows down, tuck your shoulders underneath you, and then interlace your fingers. Oh, bridge pose. Press the wrists, the forearms, the elbows down. And then lower your hips to the floor. And one more like that. Lift your hips, press your elbows down, tuck your shoulders underneath, interlace your fingers, stretch the forearms, the wrists. And then go ahead and slowly release. Now, we did a lot for the outer hip. Let's do something for the inner hip. Grab a hold of your left ankle. Bring your left foot in half. Happy baby pose. And stretch your right leg down on the floor. I like to take my right arm overhead so you can stretch the right front body effectively and fully. And then release. Switch sides. Right leg in. Half happy baby. Sole of your right foot points up, left leg extends. Mm. Then release both feet to the ground. Take your feet as wide as your sticky mat, knees bent, drop your knees to the left, left foot on top of your right knee. Drop your knees to the right and right foot on top of left knee. Come back to center. Give both knees a light squeeze into your chest. And release Shavasana. Take a deep breath in and a full exhale out.
Let go of your jaw, let go of the abdomen. And then take a full breath in, and a long exhale. Bend your knees one at a time, roll over onto your side. And come on up. So, I hope that that helped your lower back, among other things, hips, hamstrings, that everything feels nice and elongated. Um, I hope you're all surviving the pandemic, the shelter in place here. It's been extended another month. Um, I know many of you are, are struggling financially, so please take my videos for free as much as you like. If you can afford a small donation, uh, donation uh, instructions are in the description section of this video. If you have questions, comments, let me know. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy.